I'm sure it would be more than happy to help you out. And you're going to love this. The uh, comedy version who's popping this cherry tonight is Clinton! Woo! The homo Hitler. <laughs> and uh, that's just, just enough of an intro that you need, so get a hug. Oh, God. Woo! <laughs> 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 Yeah, you okay. There you go. How about it? I haven't said this in a while, but this is my first time, so be gentle. Yeah, Let right. me just find my notes. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm not actually a comedian. I've just developed a bit of a... bit of a heckling issue. Um, I don't really think heckling is the right word. I like to think of it as creative feedback. <laughs> Audience engagement, drinking problem. <laughs> um, but because of that, I've been forced into this compromising position. I love a compromising position. I'm just not so used to doing it so fully dressed. With a crowd in a well lit room. <laughs> with women and children around. <laughs> um, I nearly pulled out of doing this last night because uh-huh. I didn't sleep a lot last night. Mm. But if the guy I was with last night can finish without pulling out, then so can I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you haven't guessed from what I'm wearing or the last joke, I'm a 30 something gay. Um, like our regular host, I'm originally from Logan, but unlike our regular host, I don't fucking talk about it all the time. <laughs> and I got out. Uh, I was raised by a 16 year old Italian girl who was always blasting music through the house Uh, the music was Cher, Abba Kylie Minogue, Celine Dion I am not sure why anyone was surprised when Mm -hmm. I came out as gay or that I continued to have the musical taste of a 16 year old girl (laughs) or the body hair (laughs) (laughs) Uh, because of that, music has become a bit of a, a thing for me. It's a really good escape. Um, I think that's why I enjoy it so much. It's been a bit of a gateway drug to fun. If there's anything we gays love more, it's drugs and fun. Yeah. <laughs> Other gateway drugs to fun include ecstasy, cocaine, or whatever someone else is doing in a bathroom club. <laughs> I went through a brief emo phase in high school, but then ended up settling into a bit of an obsession with J-pop. Um, it sounded fun and a song can't have shitty lyrics if you don't understand them <laughs> it was also a really good way for me to discover that um, I like other cultures and that travelling can be fun so music gives you a really good new perspective for me that perspective ended up being bent over while I got spit roasted by two black guys in a sex club in Tokyo in 2015 <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing what you can achieve with a soap a dream and enough spin. Oh. <laughs> uh, these days, to supplement my pop music um, interest uh, and to make sure that my gay card never expires, I've gotten into the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, you might think it only happens once a year, but it actually lasts for about six months before it disappears. It's kind of like a boyfriend. Um, I was talking to a therapist the other day because I can't just be gay. I have to have some sort of neurological thing going on too. And he asked me why the gays are obsessed with Eurovision. I hadn't really thought about it previously. I hadn't made the connection. But um, I think it's because it's camp, it's loud, we love a party, and there's always one bitch who slams her pussy into the stage so hard you can feel it through the TV. <laughs> Actually, these days, there's two or three of them that do that. It's a massive drag show, and you get to start drinking at five in the morning on Sunday. <laughs> Which means that I can still sleep it off and get to work on Monday without feeling like absolute shit for three days, because unlike my taste in music and sense of humour, I'm not 16, and the only rule of mine I have of that are the fact that I'm bald, and then my back still hurts from being spit roasted by two black guys. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know what I'm for our comedy version. Wait for more. Let's hope there is more because that was really, that's really, really hard for my first time. 
Being Me too. Being by two black lives. <laughs> 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 Tokyo Sex Club. <laughs> well, unless I am terribly mistaken, our next act um, played the superpowered baby in The Incredibles. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's all grown up. Give it up for Jack Jackovich. <laughs> 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 